Hello everyone and welcome again. Uh, today I'm gonna start uh, install a coal boiler in this house. On this wall over there, uh, I'm gonna install 140 liters uh, unvented hot water cylinder. In here on the left we have a chimney. The coal boiler will uh, in front of the of that chimney. On the left uh, we have a manifold. We're gonna install. Uh, mixture temperature valve over there and the pump and uh, I will show you all installation yeah step by step we have some stuff for this in here so uh, I just gonna start yeah thank you for now and see you again bye bye hello everyone and welcome again uh, I said to you before that I will show you uh, this job step by step so uh, now I am a uh, nearly in the middle of the job as you can see unvented hot water cylinder is uh, installed we have uh, cold water on the side expansion vessel leaf valve uh, pressure reducing valve non return valve and normal valve yeah in here we have uh, one inch uh, return from uh, our boiler over there a small pump for a circulation pipe yeah third pipe over there we have a flow from the boiler and the uh, hot water side pipe for the hot water yeah and uh, it looks like that now uh, our car boiler is uh, in front of the chimney it looks like that uh, today I'm gonna install uh, four ways valve into that boiler it looks like that you can adjust uh, on this valve uh, what temperature you want to send into your house and it's uh, very good uh, for the boiler because uh, the flow from the installation it's not uh, coming uh, so cold because it's mixed with uh, flow from the uh, boiler yeah so uh, this flow will uh, about uh, So this flow uh, will uh, hot and uh, the boiler will not rust so it's very good. I already installed a mixture valve uh, for the floor heating system. As you can see. So now I will connect the car boiler and then I will show you another video about this job yeah for now thank you and see you again hello everyone and uh, welcome again uh, I just finished uh, installation of car boiler so let me show you a little bit this job what I've done in here it looks like that yeah as I said before over there there is a hot water tank on the left side we have a central heating pump on the right side it's a pump for the water cylinder over there in here we have a pressure gauge over there there is a temperature gauge we have 
some sensors in here as well flow sensor return sensor yeah over there we have a home for the floor heating system all this looks like that but let me tell you a little bit about this valve in here this is a four ways valve it's installed uh, on the flow from the boiler and uh, on this valve you can uh, adjust what temperature you want to send into your house yeah into the installation into your house but the better thing of this valve is uh, that uh, this is returned from the installation and the, co uh, the cold water from the return from the installation it mixed in this place it mixed together with the flow from the boiler so this flow which is going into the boiler it's not as cold as normal it's always about uh, 30 degrees it depends what you adjust in here yeah but it's very good for this boiler because uh, as you know if if this water is uh, about 30 degrees so this prevent uh, our boiler from from the rust so it's very very good option for the car boilers another thing in here we have uh, over there above the pump there is a mixed, mixed, mixture valve yeah, you can uh, adjust uh, what temperature you want to send uh, into your floor heating system up there let me show you now how the boiler is looks inside You put a uh, coil inside into this. In here is motor. Central heating pump is working now and uh, Door heating pump is working as well uh, pump for the hot water it's not working right now because we don't need for now I show you close closely how it looks the programmer yeah as you can see central heating pump is working we have uh, 52 degrees at the moment but uh, I want to have uh, 57 degree and then uh, the boiler will stop for a uh, some time and then we're working again it looks like that But anyway, uh, thank you for watching everyone, 
uh, I will do more videos about my jobs uh, I hope that you enjoy it and uh, see you next time bye bye